Hey everyone, welcome to something quite a little bit different. Nothing crazy original or anything. I know many people do this kind of stuff, but we're gonna check out three short indie horrors today because I was looking at Ichio, um, trying to think about some stuff to play and I've ha I have a couple indie horrors, but they're all like two, three hours and there's a ton that I always see where I'm like, this one looks cool but it's only 10 minutes and then I'm like, that's kind of too short for a video, especially on a channel like mine where everything is just like two, three hours usually. But I was like, fuck it, we're gonna do it. It's gonna happen. We're gonna do three short indie horrors today. And I picked out three that are all about like traveling somewhere, gas station vibes, camping, and something goes wrong. So let's start with something in the woods. <laughs> What is that? What is this? <laughs> okay, am I sure I want to do this? Ugh. Was that really necessary? Am I doing anything? The vibes have ended. Okay. We have a car. I need to get coffee. Oh, good start. I like coffee. Oh, we're the cop. Cop getting coffee. Do you want donuts too? Oh, this is so weird to look at. Oh my god. Okay. I can't even do the sensitivity, so this is just gonna happen. <laughs> Hi, I'm here for coffee. Anyone home? At work, I mean. Oh, great many missing people. Coffee! <gasps> donut! Coffee and donuts. I am home. Ah. Oh, levitating cup. The one time I only have water. And I don't have coffee. I should go to the counter and pay for it first. <gasps> oh! Blood. Fresh. So much of it. I should investigate and follow the trail to the back room. Oh! <laughs> okay! From zero to a hundred. Coffee to murder. Decaffeinated? A dead body with no head. Jesus Christ, what in the hell happened here? His head was detached with force. I mean, usually when a head comes off, some force is involved, yeah. Sweet God, what could have done this? I have to find out. Door. What's that say? If you go outside for a smoke or something, maybe you should go in pairs. Recently I heard some weird sounds in the forest. They were almost human-like. Yeah, that's, that's the weird thing about it. <laughs> it's probably just wolves or mountain lions, but still, be careful outside. Listen to the sounds. Whoa! Okay, we're going from 100 to 200. I'm ready to shoot someone. Thought that was a face. There's something in the woods. Some thing. Blood. Blood? In a bunny? Hello? I'm looking for a murderous psychopath. Ooh. Really? You think that's human-like? I would not say so. <laughs> I would just call that a demon immediately. What about that sweet coffee and donut that you left behind though? Ooh, flashlight? Can you get it? Oh! Shot the flashlight, sorry. How many bullets do I have? That was the one bullet I had. <laughs> uh, bonfire. Canned beans and pot. Looks like someone was in the middle of preparing food. Whoa, day four. I'm here all alone in the middle of the woods. Well, not exactly. There's a gas station around 10 minutes away. That was not 10 minutes, just saying. 
But it's my first time camping, so you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Go out camping. Ah, oh, man, I really want some coffee. Go to the gas station. I've been trying to climb the mountain, and I definitely made progress from the first day. It's challenging, but I think I'll do it tomorrow. I've also just been sitting here by the fire, enjoying the silence and nature. It's really great. Except for the weird animal. Almost human. <laughs> Bone chilling screams in the middle of the night. The first night, they were far in the woods and the mountains, but slowly over the days, they have been getting closer to me. Last night, I heard them really close, maybe 35 feet from my tent. That night, I also heard something walking around my camp. I pray to God it's just some animals. Putting that aside, right now, as I write this journal, I am preparing some beans. <laughs> I really like these beans from the gas station. <laughs> They're really deli- They sold the lick? Do you want that axe? Oh, look at how- Oh, this is giving me like weird vibes. Camping tent. Looks like someone left in a hurry. Wonder where the owner is. Okay, where do we go from here? Oh, I can run. Maybe this way? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh! Where the heck did you fall from? There's nothing above you. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? That body with no eyes. Oh my god. Something tore his stomach and his eyes are missing. Whatever did it is not human. How can you tell? Wouldn't you just assume it's like still just an animal attack or something? I am so ready to shoot. They call me Trigger Happy Goobus for a reason. I'm ready. That's why sensitivity is so low. I can, like, aim better. Ooh, someone there. Wait, how many people were... Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I totally shot him, like, twice. Oh, are you kidding me? Should I start shooting it from further away? Oh, forgot about the body. <laughs> Damn, I did it! Dot, dot, dot. I need to report all this shit. I have a radio on my car. Just in case. You never know. <laughs> half eaten body. It's half eaten. <laughs> oh. That's usually what a half eaten means. Just in case. <laughs> oh, the sun is setting. Do you think it's gonna be another one? How many shots did it take? About four? Whoa, look at this beautiful sunset! Ooh, did we climb this hill? Damn! We're in good shape, despite all the coffee and donuts. How much do you want to bet there's gonna be another one? Go, go, go! Oh, thank you for playing. Michael Adams Adamski? Adamski? Awesome. That was a fun one. I enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's go with You and the Night next. Oh, this is giving me Silent Hill vibes. I like this. Speaking of Silent Hill, there has been a rumor today that, um, oh, this is very nice looking. It's been a rumor today that PlayStation, Sony might be working on some kind of PlayStation 2 emulator. Dude, I would be all over that. If they made like a PS2 mini, like they did for PS1, can you imagine? That would be so amazing. I hope this music isn't a copyright claim. So, are, what am I... I guess I'm just enjoying the ride, like, the last game. 
My ADHD is like, what do I do? Which buttons do I press? Let's go! But... I guess we got, just gotta enjoy the scenery sometimes. Enjoy the music. Are your lights on? It's quite foggy. Don't hit someone. I mean, this music has to be copyright free, right? Oh! La 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 la! La 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 la! What does this mean again? Speaking as someone who doesn't have a car. 279? 279? 9 tenths? Hello there, skinny man. Interact. The fog is too thick and it's getting dark soon. You can leave your car here for the night. Take the path behind the building. I'll eat. It'll lead you to the nearby town. There's a rundown hotel by the lake. Oh. Okay. Can I go in your building? Oh, no. That's him. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, car. Oh, look at this beautiful path. What are these? What are we growing over here? Oh. Wait, hay bales. Do those go together? In any case, it looks cool. I love the fog. Oh god, it's giving me such Silent Hill vibes. Ambient sounds are cool. God, this is very rundown. I would be very, very scared if I was alone. I would rather sleep in my car, honestly. Yeah, why would you even walk all the way alone? Are you a man? Because then it makes sense. But if you were a woman, nah. -uh. I guess I... Oh, this is nice! Oh, God. There's something about the way this is color graded or something. God, it's really making me want to play Silent Hill. Ooh. Uh, what was that now? They don't seem to... Forgotten. Quiet and forgotten. I don't need to call anyone now. Uh, don't go to bed just yet. Slept on the couch for far too long. It's time for a bed. I guess there's not much on, huh? Bathroom? Whoa, this is a very spacious hotel. Honestly, it could have been worse. Yeah. Oh, she do a big pee pee. That must be satisfying. Who knows how long she's been holding that pee. I guess that's it. Wait, whose toothbrush is that? Have we locked the door? Too tired to go out and Galante took me in. It's not much, but I can stay here for the night. Okay. Nothing in the closet. Oh, that is definitely a person-sized closet. Pictures and paintings from the 20th century. Well, wow. how do you know? Hey, windmill! Dutch people represent. Clock. Old clock. My grandparents used to have one of these. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. My parents have one of these. Old clock. That's a lamp. Someone needs to go to bed. What's gonna happen? Oh. Who is that? Is that... Oh, that was the building! I thought someone was out the window. What time is it? 3 a.m.? I would not open that door for anyone. 
If the building is on fire, just scream it through the door, then maybe I'll believe you. Oh! <laughs> Someone left the door with chains while I was sleeping. What is this madness? I need to look for another way out of here. Oh, this is so cool! I like this. I think I've discovered a new way to get rid of our trash. There's a small ravine behind the bridge at the lake. We can dump the remains there. I'm sure not even animals can come down there. Small ravine behind the bridge at the lake. Hmm. Ooh, can I go in e in every room? Wow. This is great looking. While you were gone over the weekend, I've invited Rita over for dinner. She's still upset about the missing young women up, up from the grocery store. It was quite a satisfaction seeing her eat with pleasure and not knowing what she was actually chewing. <gasps> That's a good file. Ooh, this is a cozy looking stove. Ah, <sighs> all it's missing is like some cozy armchairs around it. Didn't really optimally um, furnish this room, is all I'm saying. Anything out there? No? Hmm. Pretty nice looking sideboard. Eh, more like a TV unit, really. So I came from that one. Oh, tapes. Can we watch TV? No, 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 no. Ventilation grit looks la rather suspicious. Maybe I can loosen the screw somehow. <gasps> Ooh, crowbar. Ah, uh, doesn't this make you miss retro games? Holy shit. Haven't played retro in so long. I honestly, I've been really wanting to play like a PS2 game again or something, but uh, maybe I can, do I have a menu? I don't think so. I don't know if I, if it's a retro game then you go into your menu, go to the crowbar and then press use where you're standing, but I don't think it's like that. Um, yeah, I've been really, footsteps. Really wanting to play something retro again, but Stuff's just been kind of like, it's been hard to, I think it's kind of because of, ooh, yeah, the crowbar. Stuff like Breath of the Wild this year, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom took just so much of my time because they're such big, long games. Anything in there? I need a key to open it. Okay. Who is chained up here? So we need to find three keys for that, key for the suitcase, screwdriver for the ventilation. Ooh, gate is shut. No way can I escape through here. What we got? No creepy people? Oh, there's, is there a door behind? Yeah. Painting still smells like oil colors. No, not the painting. Safe is locked. I need to find the combination if I want to open it. What about the door behind it? Oh, maybe actually it's not a door. Maybe that's just the shadow of the cabinet. Oh, screwdriver. Nice. Um, God, sorry. I, I have a hard time sticking to a story, but yeah. Breath of the Wild, then Tears of the Kingdom took forever, and then I made the mistake of doing Star to Expand it this year. We've had just so many like huge series just swallowing up the schedule. Um, so it's actually nice to do like a video like this where it's just like random short stuff. I really like that. Um, but yeah, because of that, I haven't really gone over to retro stuff because there is, I, it's been hard enough keeping up with new games this year. We have to be careful. The police interviewed Henry again and asked about the missing people in the area. He's not going to say anything, but maybe you should buy him a little gift for his loyal service. Oh, and remember to do something about the noise. You don't want the neighbors to start asking questions, do you? Awesome. Anything else here? Phone. No can do. Okay. We got a screwdriver. 
No one here yet? I feel like someone's gonna pop in soon. What's in there? What does it sound like? Why does it sound like we are? Oh, it sounded like we were climbing through an old lighter. A lighter. Did we need to burn something? The stove? I didn't say anything about lighting it though. Isn't that the exact like Silent Hill locked sound? Need a key for that. Floor's broken, I have to be careful. Are those handcuffs over there? What kind of hotel is this place? Murder hotel. Anything with the masks? Looks like one of the masks is missing. You know what it is? I bet I'm just like missing a key somewhere. Although, if I was, wouldn't it say just interact somewhere? I burnt the painting? Oh. Looks like a combination for a door or a safe. 4786. Nice. Key. Found a small key. Cool. So, suitcase? Mm hmm. <gasps> mask. Cool, cool looking mask. I like it. Uh, so we put that here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. murder basement. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, into the darkness. What is it? You've escaped the weight of darkness for now. Don't tell me that's it. No, that's it. Ah, no, really? What about the door with three locks on it? Oh, I want it more. Those environments and the way the game was visualized, everything was great. I really like that one. Next one is Entity Room. February 18, 1987. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Ooh, hello. Leave. <laughs> okay, I don't think we can like Check doors. Ooh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are we going? Ooh, this is cool looking. Hmm. We're not going in there. Is that gonna open later? <gasps> this door is open. What's down here, though? A box. Empty shelves. Guess I'm not going back. Am I the janitor? How, how do we... How, how do mop? Are those guts? Do you think the mop is for later? The mop is for later. Okay. Can't use the door with a mop in your hands. Is that something? I haven't finished my tasks for today. What is your task, sir? From... Matt? Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So, your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door R1 in through your computer. After it has eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door R1 out through your computer. 
You'll need a strong stomach, but you'll get used to it. Used to it. First, throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container, then clean the blood with the mop. Easy enough. Automatic email did not reply. Highly dangerous entity 14. Terrestrial origin. Bipedal, uncanny human like appearance. Skin doesn't reflect light. Glowing red eyes. Body mass consists of mostly human meat. Develops more human like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Extremely agile. Can jump far distances. Total power failure result resulting in E14 escaping the room and killing the operator. Oh, and that's why they hired me! By partaking in this operation, you agree that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Sure. Ooh, Entity Room. Sure. Okay. What about Room 1? Oh, I see something. Ah! There's a little person in there. Oh, that was the knocking sound. Oh, he just taken a little nap. Okay. No camera in the hall or operator room. Okay. So... In? Oh, so now the entity can feed? Can we check the camera? Oh, come on! Uh... And now we need to open the room. So we can clean it, right? Oh, what ensures that the entity will go back? Pick up the guts. <laughs> Put them in the trash. Do you want to pick up all the guts? Yep. <laughs> Are you picking it up with your bare hands, I wonder? Any guts hiding in here? No? Cool. Oh, wow, we are good at our work. Okay, let's close those doors. What if we let one of the prisoners out? A uh, new one? Good job. Looks like you're a natural. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays, they even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating the CCTV, TV, I said it in Dutch, CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse, and repeat. Cool. Thanks. I did a good job. Did you hear that? That's amazing. Oh, and I sleep here. Oh, that's why you were like, I still have work to do. Wow. I would not be able to sleep with an entity in the room next to me. How much are they paying you? It's dark. <laughs> oh, there's a toilet here. I didn't even see that. Wow, they really pulled out all the stops how to make sure you feel at home. <laughs> Entity room. Ooh. Okay. Someone's hungry. Power failure. The lights aren't working. Don't worry, basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today's similar. Press R2. Entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards, Matt. <sighs> okay. So I guess we just wait for this to go green again. Oh wait, I need to open two. But what is this stop? <sighs> again, how does the entity... How does the entity go back to its room? Nah. Oh, he's getting more angry. 
Dude, why are you getting angry at the hand that feeds you, huh? Don't bite the hands that feed you. Isn't that what they say? No chomping on the feeder. Oh. Time to clean again. Whew, it is hard work, but someone's gotta do it. Time to close those doors. Can I just go to sleep again? After that? You really are a natural! Good job again, dude! I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. Experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Anyway, our research on Entity 14 should lead to breakthroughs, not just for military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind where you're doing your work. You're done for the day. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Hopefully we have light tomorrow. Why do I feel like... Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah, I was just gonna say, why do I feel like we're gonna end up in one of those? Still no light? Are you still angry in there? No? Hey, boxes. Um, let's see if we have an email. Oh, what do you know? It's Matt. Day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work's becoming a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shit, bust a nut, and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Winky face. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Winky face. Don't worry. They're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. P.S. The entity room camera works again. Ooh! Thanks for telling me. No! It just worked. All I saw was an eyeball. Do you think the entity was like waiting for like 12 hours right at the camera? Being like, any second now. Any second now. They're gonna look through the camera and then they'll budget. Any second now. <laughs> 12 hours. Um. Do you want food, little guy? Seems like a fairly mellow murder. We good in here? Are you okay, honey? You barely touch your guts. What's gonna happen? Something. Oh, there's a head there. Do you think it's the. The last guy who was working here? Are we gonna pick up the head and realize? Nope. I guess I was hoping for too much. Dude, they better pay you amazing money. Like, do these three nights and you never have to work a day in your life or something like that. Right? Also, who empties out this... Um, I was gonna say bucket, but who empties out that barrel of stuff? Guts. There we go. No email. Guess I'll go to sleep. What happens after day three? Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna wake up in a cell? Read this. They want to get rid of you. Hide. Um. Didn't really give me any time to respond. But okay. 
Okay, we definitely ended on a weaker note compared to the other two that we did, but it did kind of give me SCP vibes, so I do like that. I haven't done much SCP, but I do have the playthrough of, let me see, I did, I did one SCP game. SCP Secret Files. If you liked the vibe of the last game, it's a pretty long game. The video is four and a half hours, but it was like different SCPs, like each has their own little story, different styles. It was very impressive. So I recommend that if you haven't seen it. But yeah, that was it. We did three short indie horrors, three scary games, as Mark likes to call it. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I probably shouldn't call it three scary games, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Um, I literally just went to the itch.io page, ticked on horror, and I clicked like some of the top ones. There's a couple others that I'm kind of interested in. There's one where you have to escape a store and a mannequin will follow you. That seems pretty cool. There's another called Liminal Gallery that I've seen a couple other people play. The top one right now is Night People. No idea what it is, but hey, there you go. That's three more games. So we could do this again if you guys like it. For me, it's definitely very a nice change of pace, very lighthearted, like nice little bite-sized game. So I would like to do more, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that.